Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Trouble Free. In this video, I am going to explain you about combining security associations in the subject of cryptography and network security. So before watching this video, I suggest you to watch my previous video about security associations. There you will understand what is security association, why do we need security association and what all we have in the security association. Then this will be easy for you. Okay, so before that, I want to tell you something. If uh, you are interested about study abroad content, I have started a new channel with study abroad content. Uh, I suggest you to have a look at that channel. I'll give the link in the description. So let's get into this now. Basically, you know what are security associations. Security associations in the sense only we are combining some two, two different things, right? Then again, why do we have to combine these security associations? So basically, with an individual security association, with an individual with a single security association you can either implement authentication header or encapsulating security payload among these two things you can implement only one but both of them at a time you cannot implement with the help of individual security associations right so but if you want both of them together when both are required you have to combine multiple security associations that is what combining security associations why do you have to combine in order to implement both authentication header and e encapsulating security payload both at a time in a single association if you want to implement then you need to go for combining of the individual security associations got it in this we have four different kinds of combinations or you can say four different cases we have okay so let us discuss about each of them in detail now don't worry each of them will be very small it's not like pgp so very small very simple they will be i will explain about them now case one is you will be providing security to the end systems that means what what is the meaning of that i'll tell you see here you are using one or more security associations that is you are using an individual security association or you are combining uh, two or three or four security associations according to your comfortable comfort okay so here the security association will be providing security directly to the host okay if you can see here host directly to the host the security uh, association is connected and the host is connected to the local intranet and from there the lo it is connected to the router and here also this host is also connected to the local internet to the router again and from the common internet the router will be distributing the network to the hosts okay this is what happens in the case one so it is a very simple network which happens like which happens in our day to day life. Okay, this is here security is provided between the end systems because the host is directly connected to the security associations. But see, the host is directly connected, right? So the security is provided to the host itself. Got it? So this is about the case one. Okay, case one is nothing but very simple. The security associations are directly connected to the hosts. Okay, this bottom thing will be same to all okay that is common right host host is nothing but your computer and this host is nothing but the receiver's computer okay and you are connected to your internet and this receiver is connected to their internet in common you will be getting a network source from a common source right so that is the internet here intranet okay next case two in case two it is a bit different when compared to case one so here you will have tunnel security association instead of one or more security association which we have taken in case one instead of that you will have tunnel security association and here one more thing what you have to remember is the security is not provided to the host see in case one the security is provided to the host from the security association right but here from the security association the security is not given to the host like i have explained in the very previous video about tunnel mode and transport mode right so in there in tunnel mode we had this security gateways so these two things these two cubes represent the security gateways okay so the security is provided to the security gateways in case of tunnel security association that is in case two you will be providing it to the security gateways and from there the security gateways will be sending the security to the host so instead of router here the local internet is being connected to the uh, security gateway here also instead of router we are using the security gateway got it so security is not directly provided to the host security is provided to the host indirectly with the help of the security gateways in the second case okay 
gateways and these gateways are connected to the host via the local inter intranet and here it is mostly used in VPNs virtual private networks we have right so it is mostly used in the case of VPNs got it this is case 2 this is case 3 which is very simple again it is a combination of both case 1 and case 2 in case 1 what we did we used simple security associations and those security associations provided security to the end host right and in case 2 we had tunnel security association and that provided the security to the security gateways here it is a combo of both of them the, here this um, you know this thin channel represents the normal security associations this uh, fat channel you know yeah, yeah fat or whatever it is thicker or whatever it is will represent the tunnel security association got it so this one or two normal security associations, simple security associations will be providing security to the host and this tunnel will provide security to the security gateway so double securities got it understood so it is a combination of both case 1 and case 2 so here it provides security to both host as well as to the gateways as well got it so this is about the case 3 very simple and moving on to the case 4 so in case 4 this is the case 4 and in case 4 we have tunnel SA and we have one or two SA that is in case 3 what we had for tunnel on both the sides we had the normal SAs right but here we have only on one side so this tunnel will provide security to this host and to the gateway and this nor simple security association will provide security to this host got it so here this mainly you will be using this case 4 in case of remote sensors in case of remote sensors you will be using okay between the remote host and the gateway between the remote host and the gateway who will provide the security tunnel will provide and between the remote host and the local host remote host and local host is nothing but this is the remote host and this is the local host oh sorry the pen is not working this is the local host so between the remote host and local host how security is being provided by using this normal simple secu uh, security associations okay so this is about the four cases we have in combining security association the first one is I'll tell you again no need to uh, confuse first one is you'll be using simple combinations and with that combinations you'll be providing security to the end host in the second one instead of simple combinations you'll be using tunnel and with the help of tunnel you'll be providing security to the security gateways got it and those gateways will provide security to the host next in case 3 it is a combo of both first case and second case that is you'll have both end systems security and also the gateway security and case 4 is nothing but you'll be using it in case of the remote sensors mainly got it so this is all about this video combining security associations so that's all let's meet up in the next coming video with another topic till then if you're still having any doubts apart from what i've explained in the video just let me know in the comment section and let's meet up in the next coming video with another topic thanks for watching the video till the end